Hello! I got a request to um, show how to make like a coloring book page into a scowl cut file using Inkscape. Um, I've got my Inkscape open here. Um, I found a picture on the internet. I'm just going to go ahead and drag it and drop it. I saved it on my um, desktop. Um, it asks to link or embed image. I just go ahead and do what it says, so it's link was the selected one, so I hit OK. There's my picture, so I'm going to go ahead and make that full size. I'm going to scoot that over here. And what you want to do is you want to hit Path, and you want to click on Trace Bitmap. And I use Edge Detection over here. This little menu box pops up. And go ahead and hit Edge Detection. And I just go ahead and leave it with the setting that it has, and you hit update, and it comes up with a little preview of what it's going to look like, and you just hit OK. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close that. And then what you do is you go over here and you click and you drag. And this is your copy. Um, if you're not sure which is your copy and which is your original, go into view, display mode, and hit outline. Oh, see, I was wrong. This was the original and this is the copy. So you'll know which one's your original because it'll have a big X through it because it can't recognize it unless you've traced it like I did. So go ahead and um, click on that <laughs> and delete it. And then bring your copy over and go ahead and change your, um, your view back to normal. I'm going to hit path break apart and it'll turn all black and that's a good thing so don't worry about that um, um, you want to go ahead and change your view back to outline so you go to view display mode and outline and you click off of it and I'm gonna go ahead and make it bigger so we can see and um, what you want to do is, there's a lot of stuff, extra little things in here you probably want to get rid of. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit the little magnification thing and blow it up really good size. And um, then you want to hit this, um, the node button. And you want to go in here and you want to click on that. And you can either delete them one at a time, which is probably easier in this skinny little thing here to delete the ones that you want to get rid of. Oh, here. There we go. Okay, get rid of that. You can also um, draw a little outline around it, but since it is really tight in here, I don't think it's going to work. So you just click on it and get the nodes to appear. Click on them to delete them. You can find them because there's all kinds of weird ones in here. Let's see here. There we go. So you click on it, highlight the nodes, and then you can draw a little box around it. It'll highlight. You can hit delete. This is going to take a while, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do these, but I'll fast forward through it so it's not quite so boring.
Okay, I think I got them all. Let's zoom out a little bit. You can hit the plus and minus keys to zoom in and out really quick too. Okay, that looks nice and clean. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this. Just temporarily um, group these together by hitting object and then group. That's just so I can move it away from the other ones because I'm only gonna work on this one flower. Um, there's just a lot of work to be done on the other ones. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and just um, highlight these and delete them. Okay, I'm going to zoom back in again. Okay, so now you see you know, what it could look like when you cut it out of paper. Um, what you're gonna wanna do is, um, first I have to ungroup it again. So object, ungroup. And first what you wanna do is you want to um, grab onto this outer one and you wanna move it away. And that's gonna be like your, your back, like um, you can cut it out of black, you know, and then you cut these out of color, you know, so you have like kind of a little border going around. Um, so once you pulled that over, <laughs> then you can um, like uh, pull the center one out if you want to, because that's probably gonna be a different color. Um, you can leave all these ones uh, grouped together. Um, they're still gonna cut out in single pieces, but then that way you don't have to sit there and move them individually all over the place. Um, you can hit object, or I'm sorry, path, and you could say union. And then it'll all be just um, one piece to move around. You won't have to worry about, like I said, the separate little pieces. So I have these. And um, what you can do is you can save everything as a different layer. Right now I just wanted to show you how to break apart a coloring book image so you can um, make a cut file for the SVG. Um, like the person who requested asked me to do the um, Hello Kitty and the kimono, but that took me hours. So I kind of just wanted to start with some basics here. Um, once you've got it all broken up, um, you can uh, like put them all together like this. And then you can like change, like um, you can lock. the dimensions so you can um, hit like up on the width and it'll make everything all get bigger together. So um, when you uh, save it and uh, bring it into um, scal, uh, it should stay about the same size. If not, um, them being all the, you're gonna definitely wanna keep them all together like that and then um, in scal you can resize them. But um, anyway, so after you've got all the cut file made, um, you can hit file, and save as, and it'll it'll save it as a um, SVG right here, and you just decide you know like where you want it. I usually save stuff on my desktop if I want to find it really quick when I first done it, and then you can just say flower, and um, then it's saved as a flower SVG. I'll go ahead and close this down so you can see me open it up in SVG in the surcuts a lot. So you hit SVG, and I'm on the desktop here. So I just find my flower that I saved. There it is. Click on it and open it, and there is your cut file. Um, so they're all they're all together when you get in here. But you can just hit Object and then Ungroup and then it'll have them all separate. But if you want to resize them, it's probably good to keep them all together first and then you can ungroup them and then like move them where you want on the mat to cut. If you have any more questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.